Hey everyone, how's it going? I am here today with a nitty gritty review of three adjustable razors, and they are the Gillette Slim, the Gillette Super Adjustable Long Handled Black Beauty, the Gillette Super Adjustable Short Handled. Black Beauty. Now, Gillette never called these Black Beauties, uh, but that became the common name for them because they are black handled pretty razors, I suppose. <laughs> um, but uh, but there's a few differences that I wanted to talk about. There's also um, the, the super adjustables are available in gold, and uh, these are nickel plated that I have today. Um, <clears throat> now, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the slim adjustable razor and the slim adjustable razor was the follow-up to the fat boy and it had a different head profile it had a different handle and it um, uh, and it was it had a different uh, knurling pattern on the handle as well still had nine settings and you would click through the collar and uh, click all of those settings to adjust the head positioning the um, the idea behind the Slim Adjustable was the same as the idea behind the Fat Boy, uh, just in a smaller version. After that though, they came out, uh, after the Slim, they came out with the Super Adjustables, and there is a short-handled version and a long-handled version, and um, the short-handled version is called the 84, some people call them Super 84s, long-handled version is called a 109 or a Super 109 and that refers to the length of the handle. That doesn't refer to the head, that refers to the handle. These three razors have the same head. Um, actually, I'll just compare two. They have the same head profile. Um, that's, that's a full-on shot. Okay, and if you look at the profile this is the same head, the same head on these two razors. Um, I have noticed some difference in the guard bars right down here. These little things that protect your face from the um, from the uh, the blade. But uh, I've noticed a little bit of difference. Typically, in the super adjustables, the guard bars are a little bit longer. That could just have to do with um, the process of how they. Uh, how they pressed these, because the guard bars would have been pressed. Um, uh, but anyhow, I uh, wanted to show you just a couple differences. Uh, there, the first difference is the the handle length. That's the most noticeable thing. And this razor, the slim adjustable, has a handle length of about 80 millimeters. That translates to roughly three and one eighth inches. Um, this short handled Black Beauty is a super 84 and as you can see the handle is a wee little bit longer I think it's about three or four millimeters well if it's 84 it's four millimeters longer that translates to about three and a quarter inches uh, of handle length and then the next one is the 109 and you can see here all right um, the 109 translates to about three and seven eighths inches for the handle length out of these three I'm going to say that the long handled one is my favorite. Um, I just like it. I like the way it handles and I like the way uh, it shaves better. Um, that's not the only difference between these razors though. And uh, for purposes of comparison, I'll use the short handled one since it's closer in, uh, in size. But uh, if you take a look at these, the collar, the adjusting collar here where the numbers are, where you click, uh, the adjusting collar is about three millimeters longer on the Black Beauties, the Super Adjustables, than on the Slim. And you can see that here, they're a little bit longer, the numbers are a little bit longer, um, the knurling pattern is a little bit different on them, and, uh, and it's just a, a different, slightly different shaped collar. But that's not the only thing that's different. You'll also notice, if you look at the TTO knob, there is a metal band around here, and then there is an end cap. All right. The metal band and the end cap 
are attached to the TTO knob here and it just gives it sort of a, a finished look but it also has to do with um, keeping the mechanics working properly because um, the thing is these black beauties they have a different um, material for the handle it's not the same brass metal as the Slims and the Fat Boys used um, and to be perfectly honest I don't know what it is I, I don't know if it's zinc or what but uh, these handles are prone to cracking they are prone to wear you can actually wear the black off of them um, even like because under under this material um, they're sort of whitish gray and um, and so uh, you can crack them, you can break them, you can drill holes into them, and it's different than the, uh, than the brass here. Like I said, I, I'm not sure what material they used. It might have been some sort of a zinc alloy or, or something. Uh, but, uh, but I have seen them crack, I have seen them break. Um, and, uh, and if they break, especially the long-handled ones, they're a little bit more difficult to work on than the slim, just because it's harder to get inside there to where the crimp is. Uh, the crimp is right here. Uh, you can see the crimp is at the end that holds the retaining spring in. The crimp in the long-handled Black Beauty is in the same position because the internal mechanics are the same between these razors. And uh, so the crimp is down here and that has given a lot of people problems in how to figure it out. Um, but I did want to talk about weight. The interesting thing is, and when I shaved with these, I thought that the, the black handle was a little bit heavier, but I was wrong. Um, these two razors these two razors, both the long handle and the short handle, are both 70 millimeters. Um, I'm sorry, 70 millimeters, 70 grams. So these razors actually weigh the same, um, which is unbelievable. And the slim adjustable is 71 grams. So even though it's the shortest out of the three, it actually weighs the most. And that probably has to do with the fact that it is um, made of brass plated with nickel, and uh, these handles here on the Black Beauties, they really add very, very, very little weight, almost no weight at all because of the material. It's a very, very lightweight material. If you were to, if you were to take these two apart, which I've done, I, I've had them apart, but if you were to take these apart, even though this TTO knob is longer, this one here is going to weigh more because of the material that it's made out of. So, um, but uh, same mechanics, uh, you actually, you um, load the blade, put the blade in, crank it to whatever setting you want, and then you give it a final quarter turn, which is tighter than the other turns, and you're ready to shave. That's how all of these razors work, and uh, I think that they're all good razors. I think that they're smooth shaving razors. Um, I, I like the feel of them. I like. I like the adjustable nature of the blade. Not aggressive. I would consider these moderate, uh, moderate razors. Certainly not aggressive. Um, even set on number nine, they should not give you any problems. They shouldn't. Um, they shouldn't cut you. But uh, everybody's skin is different. But anyhow, that's the review. Hope you like it. Please don't forget to click like and also subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day, and shave on.